Deputy Byrne, this is your first. Yes, it is, yeah, I won't be making a second one in this section. Um, I think Deputy Kelleher summed it up perfectly, actually. This whole issue of this section was front and centre uh, of the entire debate. The 12 week period was front and centre. And whether you liked it or not, this was what you were voting on. And these issues were uh, unbelievably well rehearsed uh, during the referendum. There were arguments for and arguments against. But, you know, the comfort I have is from Deputy Kelleher, who I understood uh, formulated the proposal at the committee with, with Deputy Chambers. Uh, the Deputy Kelleher is on record as saying that he, he's certainly uh, not in favour uh, of uh, abortion for, for reason of, of disability. And he has set out the reasons, as he did and others did during the, the referendum for the 12 weeks, other people set out the reasons to be against that. But the public voted for this section. If, if, if there's anything in this bill uh, that they voted for that was so well rehearsed, uh, was, this, was this section. Uh, and it is it, going back to the 12 weeks. It was, it was the signature issue uh, in the referendum. I think people need uh, to remember that. And there is an effort here to, to rerun the referendum. I think there is an effort here to, to sow confusion in the minds of ordinary, decent pro-life voters around the country uh, that somehow Deputy Tobin and other colleagues are, are their heroes. They are not their heroes, and they need, I think they know that. Deputy Tobin is an utter hypocrite. Uh, he, has he has stood over, he has stood over attacking the media over Maria Cahill. He has stood over defending the issue in relation to Jean McConville. And he comes in here obsessed with this really issue think that and adds nothing to the debate. That he comes in here. Please, Deputy Tobin, would you? I think many, please, many Fianna followers are far more concerned with your track record in the Sinn Féin organisation. No, this, 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 this issue has been rehearsed by the people. I was on the other side of the debate, but I said that I would accept the views of the Irish people. And if any of the deputies putting forward these amendments say, look at the exit polls. They will see that a tiny, tiny proportion of the Irish people have said to, to the exit pollsters that they wouldn't accept uh, the results of the referendum. And I think the deputy should bear that in mind, that as far as the vast majority of people are concerned, this is now a settled issue uh, for the people, uh, that the people have decided. And if we're to change that decision, I think we're taking it out of the people's hands. I'm not in favour uh, of uh, abortion for reasons of disability, and I'm absolutely, uh, absolutely uh, confident that that is not provided for uh, in the bill. And for those others who are trying to sow confusion uh, in relation to this issue, uh, I think it is downright disgraceful. It's not an issue that I brought up during the referendum, certainly because I didn't feel there was anything to go on. Go to